Hey everyone, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, we're here to do a Yoga Nidra uh, this afternoon. And as usual, it'll take people a few minutes to join us, so I won't start immediately. And I'm also going to invite some people to join in who might be interested. So please be patient if you're waiting on the other side. Um, you can go ahead and grab a bolster and a blanket and make yourself very comfortable laying down to do this practice if you'd like. Um, and again, we'll get started in a minute. I'll give you more instructions in just a bit. Everyone, we'll get started in just a minute, okay? Give me a moment to invite some people to join us. All right, welcome Laura, Michael, good to see you, Autumn. So um, again, some more people might be joining us in a minute. We're going to do Yoga Nidra. If you're unfamiliar with this uh, yoga technique, it's a type of guided um, meditation that's done laying down. Now, most people experience it as a very relaxing, almost like a nap, like almost like a little yoga power nap. Um, however, it has been studied and it has been shown to be very, very therapeutic. Also, from a spiritual perspective, in my experience with my students, it is often a practice where people can have a real breakthrough or what we might call revelation. Um, so where they realize some deeper truth about their experience or their life or about life in general. So I think it was Einstein who said that you can't solve a problem from the same level of consciousness in which the problem has been created. And um, if we take that to be true, then we see how in Yoga Nidra we enter into a different state of awareness or consciousness that then allows us to break through uh, psychological or energetic or spiritual blocks that we may have been experiencing, okay? So the wonderful thing about this is, at least for most people, nothing is for everybody. But most people, again, experience it as a very relaxing, enjoyable, um, you know, meditative experience. Now, if you'd like to share this with others, you can do a watch party. I think that's uh, uh, on Facebook. You can say, hey, you know, you can invite others to join in if there's someone who you think you can benefit from this. This can help with things like sleeplessness anxiety, 
um, trauma can be very powerful for people who have experienced uh, trauma and just all stress related disorders and many modern disorders are related with stress okay so a couple things you want to uh, lay down I recommend something like a bolster underneath your knees so that you're very comfortable if you're at all chilly please cover yourself with a blanket okay and um, you want to keep your body temperature steady if there are lights on and you can shut them off I recommend that generally the less light the better and if you have an eye pillow um, something you can rest over your eyes that might be a good idea as well now there are two instructions I want to give you before I start reading the script and that is that you want to remain still as best as you can while we practice and you also want to remain awake now the main um, access point is going to be my voice so you don't have to worry about the screen you can put the computer wherever you want um, or the phone but just make sure that you can hear my voice well okay and I'm gonna be talking maybe a little bit softer than I am now so just make sure that um, you're gonna be able to hear me okay all right so lay down make yourself comfortable and we'll go ahead and get started I'm not sure exactly how long today's nidra will last but I'm assuming it'll be um, probably between 20 and 40 minutes so somewhere in that range okay hopefully you can stick around for the whole thing get ready for yoga nidra Lie down in Shavasana and make yourself as comfortable as possible. Keep your feet apart and let them flop sideways. Arms away from your body. Palms turned upwards. Adjust yourself so you can practice yoga nidra without moving your body or any physical discomfort. Please close your eyes and keep them closed. The practice of yoga nidra focuses on hearing and feeling. In this practice, you function on the level of awareness. In dreams at night, you have no control. But in Yoga Nidra, you are the creator of your dream. Say to yourself mentally, I will not sleep. I will listen to the voice that I hear. Give yourself some time to become calm and steady. Take a deep breath in and feel calmness spreading throughout your body. And as you exhale, say to yourself mentally, relax. Now become aware of any sounds in the distance. Become aware of the most distant sound that you can possibly hear. Searching out distant sounds and following each for a few seconds.
moving attention from sound to sound. Be unconcerned about where the sounds come from. Gradually begin to move to sounds that are closer to you. Sounds outside your building. And then sounds inside the building. Without opening your eyes, become aware of the room that you're in. Visualize the four walls, ceiling, and floor. Your body laying on the floor. See it there resting. Be aware of your physical body laying on the floor. Complete awareness of your body laying in perfect stillness. Your body is laying on the floor. and you are aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Be aware of your natural breath. Be aware of your deep, natural, and spontaneous breath. Please don't try to concentrate, for this will interfere with natural awareness. Continue to effortlessly listen to me and simply know you are breathing. Say mentally to yourself, I am going to practice Yoga Nidra. I will not sleep. Now is the time to make your resolve or sankalpa. Your resolve should be made in the first person, present tense, and use only affirmative language. Please state your resolve clearly and with feeling three times now. Now begin to rotate your consciousness through the different centers in your body. Allow your awareness to join, jump from point to point as quickly as possible. Repeat mentally the name of each part after I name it and simultaneously be aware or feel that part of your body. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, 
fourth finger. Fifth finger. Palm of the hand. Back of the hand. Wrist. Lower arm. Elbow. Upper arm. Shoulder. Armpit. Waist. Hip. Right thigh. Knee. Calf muscle. Ankle. Heel. Sole of the foot. Top of the foot. The big toe. Second toe. Middle toe. Fourth toe. Little toe. Left hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth. And fifth. Palm of the hand. Back of the hand. Wrist. Lower arm. Elbow. Upper arm. Shoulder. Armpit. Waist. Hip. Left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, Big toe, second toe, third, fourth, and fifth. Right shoulder. Left shoulder. Right shoulder blade. Left shoulder blade. Right buttock. Left buttock. Spine and the whole back together.
Now the top of the head. The forehead. Right eyebrow. Left eyebrow. The eyebrow center. Right eyelid. Left eyelid. Right eye. Left eye. Right ear. Left ear. Right cheek. Left cheek. The nose. The tip of your nose. Right nostril. Left nostril. The upper lip. Lower lip. The chin. Jaw. Throat. Right collarbone. Left collarbone. Right chest. Left chest. The middle of the chest. The navel. Abdomen. And the lower abdomen. Now develop a homogeneous awareness of your entire body. Be aware of the space occupied by your physical body. Be aware of both your body and this space that is occupied by your body. Be aware of your whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between the body and the floor. the very subtle physical points between your body and the floor. Notice where your head meets the floor. Your shoulder blades and the floor. The elbows and the floor. the back of the hands and the floor, the buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Awareness of all the meeting points between the body and the floor.
Be aware of the sensation of all these points simultaneously and evenly. Now draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat On exhalation, it descends from the throat down to the navel. Please do not try to force your breath. Just be aware of it. Now begin to count backward from seven to one. On the inhale, say to yourself silently, seven, I am breathing in. On the exhale, seven, I am breathing out. Six, I am breathing in. Six, I am breathing out. And so on, down to zero. Count yourself mentally as you follow the rise and fall of the breath from your navel to your throat. The breathing is slow and relaxed. Now please stop your counting. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in your body. Be aware of heaviness in every part of your body. You're feeling so heavy, it feels as though you're sinking into the floor. Be aware of heaviness. Now begin to awaken the feeling of lightness throughout your body. A sensation and feeling of weightlessness in all parts of your body. Your body feels so light, it feels as though it can float off the floor. Now begin to awaken the experience of cold throughout your body. Awaken the experience of bitter cold throughout the body. Imagine walking outside in the middle of winter. Nothing on your feet. Very cold. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat. 
feel your body is hot all over. Imagine the heat when you're out in the middle of summer in the direct sunlight with no shade feeling heat everywhere in your body. Now awaken the experience of pain. Try and remember an experience of pain, mental or physical. And now, pleasure. Remember this feeling of pleasure. Relive it and make it very vivid. Now make sure you are awake. Check to make sure you are not sleeping and say to yourself silently, I am awake. I am practicing yoga nidra. Now withdraw your mind and concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyes. In yoga, this space is called the Chidakasha. Imagine before you a window through which you can view infinite space, a space that extends as far as the eyes can see. Focus on this dark space and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue to view this space with detachment. You are interested and yet detached. You are interested but not emotionally invested in what arises in this space. Now imagine yourself in a park in the early morning. The sun has not risen and the park is deserted. This is a very beautiful park, calm and peaceful. You walk across the springy grass and listen to the birds sing and call as they welcome a brand new day. There are rows of flowers, roses of different colors, yellow, pink, red purple. You can smell their fragrance and you see early morning dewdrops 
on their beautiful petals. Close to this rose garden is a fish pond. Goldfish swim in and out amongst water lilies. They move gracefully. As you walk, you move between trees, beautiful trees, tall and stately. Eventually you come to a clearing and in this clearing you find a small temple and you think you see an aura of light around it. You go to the door and find that it is cool and dim inside the temple. Inside on the walls there are pictures of great saints. You decide to sit down on the floor, close your eyes, and become very still. A deep sense of peace and harmony envelops you as the sounds outside the temple fade into the distance. You decide to stay here for some time, enjoying the peace and harmony. Now return awareness to the Chittakasha, the dark space in front of your closed eyes. Watch the darkness. Again, notice anything that arises with detachment. Rest your mind in this warm, friendly, and inviting darkness. Notice any colors or patterns that arise. If thoughts come, let them come, but also let them go. Simply continue to watch this dark space. Now remember your resolve or sankalpa. Repeat the same resolve you made at the beginning of the practice using the exact same words. Repeat it to yourself now three times clearly with feeling and awareness.
Now become aware of your breathing. Be aware of your natural breath. Be aware of your deep relaxation. Become aware of your physical experience. Be aware of your arms and legs and your body laying stretched out on the floor. Be aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Be aware of the room, walls, ceiling, and any noises in the room and outside the room. Rest quietly for a few moments. Keep your eyes closed. Now gradually begin to move your body, stretching yourself. Please take your time. Do not hurry. When you are sure you are awake, begin to sit up and open your eyes. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, if you'd like to help support me in doing these yoga teachings free online, which is what I'm doing right now, there are some links there that you can check out, Venmo, PayPal, or become a member on my Patreon page, become a patron on my Patreon page. It's not required though. Um, the most important thing right now is that you practice. So please feel free to use these tools that I'm making available on a daily basis. I'll be back on Sunday with a Dharma talk. A Dharma talk is a talk that is given from a um, spiritual perspective. So it's not about our conventional view or what we understand conventionally. It's about understanding things from a different point of view. So if you'd like to join me for that, that'll be 8 o'clock on Sunday. And then on Monday, I'll be back with a Yang Yoga class, which is a more active style of yoga. It's not vinyasa, but uh, it's flowy like that. At least parts of it are. And then on Tuesday, I'll be back with a little bit of kirtan Again, if you want to check out my full online schedule, it will be up on my Patreon page. Um, again, everything there right now is free for you to use, all the tools. So all these practices are recorded and then later posted there so you can do them whenever you like. Thanks again for spending some time with me to do your practice. Let me know if there's any way that I can help support you as a teacher right now. Um, Many people are feeling stressed out or anxious um, or having other issues um, that may arise directly from the pandemic or they may have been things that were going on before. Either way, I'm ha happy to spend some time with you and see if I can help you. All right, everyone. Namaste. Have a lovely afternoon and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks.